good morning everyone so with our last class we had come across with the different two types of fork and the four different types of weight as an api so in today's class we'll get across with this uh, six different types of exec as a functions or apis that okay so with respect to exec as an api wherein you know that it is used to execute a respective uh, program or else a file in the uh, space allocated through the fork as an api that so let us come across here with six different types of exec as an api so wherein you can just come across that uh, with these uh, six different types you can find that the first four okay so wherein the first four exec as an api takes out the first argument as a path name so path name is something which starts with a slash okay slash and then followed out with the things um, whatever where the file exists okay so you are giving across using this particular slash there. okay so whereas the last two you can just see that exec lp exec vp these two takes file name as an argument so file name as an argument is nothing but directly an executable file is given as an input here okay so this is the very first difference between these respective six different types of exec as an api okay so then next comes as a difference wherein you can just concentrate here with one is exec l okay the second one is exec l e and the third one is exec l p okay here you can just see that what is the second argument second argument is arg0 okay so that is nothing but where you are taking the command line arguments are starting across with the zeroth argument till the null character okay so this happens to be your uh, next very difference wherein you are looking at across with the list of an uh, uh, what is a list of an arguments there okay so whereas in the same way wherein you can just see the other one wherein you have uh, with the uh, exec v and exec vp okay so what it does it takes the second argument from the respective string type of an uh, function there or a string, string type of an array okay so wherein you are of course taking it from the command line argument but here directly an array is been considered okay so this is your next very difference there okay whereas one more difference is you can just see here with exec le and exec ve okay so these two respective apis takes one more type of an argument which is added along with this okay and what is this argument this is environment variable okay so environment variable is taken as an respective entry for your exec le and exec ve there okay for these two respective apis these uh, this parameter acts as one of the most uh, different uh, variable or else environment variable which is required for both of these respective apis there okay so these are your six different types of exec as an api okay and then followed out with the differences between these exec apis there okay and all of them you can just see that it returns back int so that is of course it is int but on success it does not uh, return out with uh, your uh, things there okay so uh, the same thing is given across here okay the first difference as i said you the file name contains if the file name contains a pa uh, slash then it's a path name okay else you get uh, else you are directly giving across with the executable file name there okay so that's with the, the file name there then the next difference is uh, one more very important thing which i didn't specify l stands out for list and v stands out for vector okay the difference between this l and v is list specifies that a defined number of uh, uh, now what is a value is been specified in list there whereas v specifies vector it can be variable okay it can be uh, it can be either plus or else either it can be a minus there okay and the final difference is passing of the environment list to the new program there okay the two functions whose names are uh, so and so as i said you just know it takes a environment variable as an argument the third argument so now let us move on with the next particular section wherein we are speaking we always know we have come across in c program with this function called as main okay it takes out two arguments one is argc and one more is argv okay so argc is command line arguments argv is array of pointers to the arguments there okay so whenever i speak about the termination of a process so what do you mean by termination of a process there are mainly many different ways of terminations there okay one is directly you are returning from the main function that's a termination calling exit calling underscore exit or underscore capital e x i t okay return of the last thread uh, from its start routine else it can be p thread okay for uh, 
in order you are running across with a uh, running on a posic system or something okay so these five are your respective normal terminations whereas abnormal terminations are these three wherein you are calling across with abort as a function call so then it's a abnormal termination when you receive a signal so you are stopping that particular process so that's a second kind of an uh, termination and the third one is you response of the last thread through a cancellation request okay so these are all your process abnormal process terminations okay so with respect to exit functions okay here just now we have come across with how many types of exit one is exit underscore exit uh, underscore capital exit okay so these are the three exit uh, functions which are being taken across okay and here you can just see that what is the argument which it takes it takes it as a status so as i always said you that either it is zero or else it can be minus 1 okay on success or failure so these are the uh, exit statuses other than zero whatever comes across so in hardly one or two apis okay you can find that an integer value is treated as a success there apart from that in all the cases it's been treated as an abnormal termination step okay so let us come across with one more added with that and that is called as at exit as a function so at exit you can just see that it can register up to 32 functions okay that can be called by 32 now at as a whole i do not want to judge my respective program individual user defined function what are their respective exit statuses i want to know so at that time this will help you okay at exit as a function so at exit takes the it can register up to 32 functions but keep in mind the exit handlers are run in a reverse way okay of registration okay so this is with your uh, at exit as an function so wherein it takes across with at exit and here the argument is an uh, the what is it a pointer a pointer type a type of a variable which is of uh, address of a respective function user defined function okay so here you can just see that uh, we are we, you have come across with uh, two different uh, three different types of uh, these things there uh, okay one is exit and one more is underscore capital e x i t and one more is uh, underscore small e x i t so here you can just see that whenever you are using across with uh, whenever you are running a c program okay successfully okay so at that time what happens is through the kernel using exec function okay a c startup routine is been called this calls the main function main function calls the user defined function okay what are user let it be with main functions if you want to return it will use either underscore exit or as underscore capital exit okay so if at all underscore exit or underscore capital exit so these two respective uh, exit functions do not do any standard input output cleanup and straight away return back to the kernel okay so this is returning back to the kernel okay but if at all each of them okay let it be user defined function or main function okay if at all it uses exit okay so what happens exit function calls these things that is standard input output cleanup is done and then using underscore exit or else underscore capital exit it returns back to the kernel okay so this is what happens with exit as an function okay so at the same way here just now i said i spoke to you regarding at exit handlers there okay so the same exit handlers are given here individually call return call return okay so these dots specifies that numeral 32 registrations can be done as i said you just now all of them are been handled and then later it has been exited across to the kernel there. okay this is uh, of knowing uh, c program starting and its termination there. okay so then let us come across with one more and that is called as environment list whenever i speak regarding environment list so what what uh, things are observed is you are coming across with this particular global variable called as environ okay so which is of an special qualifier which you are taking and that's called as extern char okay so this holds this is a pointer uh, this is a environment pointer this points towards the environment list there okay environment list holds in that particular list every every argument every respective space is been allocated by an environment variable okay so this environment variable will be uh, assigned with a the value there variable equals to a value of it and terminated by null character okay so this is how 
the environment strings are being recorded in an environment list there okay we have spoke regarding environment variables called home path shell user log name okay all of them are been pointed towards the environment list there okay each of them will be held out with this environment strings there okay so in the next class i'll tell you regarding this memory layout of a c program thank you